Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Investor Relations in Two Minutes or Less. Today we talk about the short attack. A wise analyst once told me that 95% of the investment world is long, and if you're short, you're a social pariah who's raining on everyone's parade. Now, there are a lot of shorts and short attacks that bring up legit issues, but for every one of those legitimate shorts, there are dozens more that are simply hit jobs on companies and management teams. And the short seller equation goes something like this. It looks for extreme valuation, rosy expectations, plus something that's a miss, and a management team, an IR team, that's doing their best impersonation of Ferris Bueller. So the way you get onto a short seller's radar screen is to impersonate Ferris Bueller by having an IR program that does not befit the stature of the company, meaning you're signaling you're not open for business or interaction with investors. A short seller will then lock on to your company if they find something amiss within what they look at and study about your company. Once that short seller channels his or her inner CNC music factory and finds those things that make him or her go, hmm, you fall into one of two buckets. Either you're a structurally flawed company or you fall into everything else. So in the structurally flawed category, you have fraud and companies that are in secular decline. So the examples are Enron, WorldCom, or Blockbuster. And a short wants this variety because it offers the biggest payoff. If a company goes to zero, you get the largest payoff. And then there's everything else. And everything else consists of an earnings miss, bad publicity, cyclical downturn, or a crisis. Think of events or items that are likely repairable over several quarters. And really, everything for the short lies in management's response. Remember, Wall Street is a game of chicken where whoever throws the first temper tantrum loses. A management team that enters a disputation with a short seller loses. The best way to respond to a short attack or a short seller is organically through communications and execution. Nothing resolves short issues better than executing on your business plan and proving that negative person wrong. Remember, when it comes to investor relations, I lived it so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.